Dennis Saplenko versus Levan Saganishvili is a match that arm wrestling fans still want to see. Now, Dennis Saplenko's comeback hasn't gone off to the best start, recently losing to Devin Larratt at East versus West 10. But he still has his goals on the big prize. Dennis will be hitting the gym real hard to ensure that he can somehow set up a match in 2024 against Levan and be the first bloody brute to somehow get a pin on Levan Saganishvili. Now, I want to have a chat. Is the side Cyborg versus the Georgian Hulk actually a match in 2024. Now we know Levan Saganishvili is coming back from injury. He's hitting the gym. He's trying to ensure that Iron Wrist is just getting stronger than ever. He is moving some heavy artillery around. But the one question we always ask when anyone gets injured is can the wrist come back to 100%? When Denis Aplenkov was making his comeback against John Brzezink and then taking the match against Devon, we were all like, can the old Cyborg return to 100%. It was probably the most asked question for Denis Saplenkov. Now, if Levan Saganishvili can't get back to 100%, then the arm wrestling world actually has a chance of pinning the Georgian Hulk. So, obviously, the less training Levan Saganishvili has, the more advantage it leans in Denis Saplenkov's favour. But, don't forget, Denis Saplenkov is looking to enter final boss mode. His goal was always John Devon Levan. Regardless of wins and losses. Dennis has noted that his training for his last match wasn't where he wanted it to be. Trainer too much defensive. One reason that makes this a match is that Levan is coming back from an injury and Dennis has had a couple of matches under his belt. So it's almost like Dennis has got a bit of a head start in the training regime. If these two ever collide in late 2024. The main X factors on both sides of the tables that can make this a match is we don't actually know what Dennis Saplenkov's training regime will be. We don't know how he's going to change his strategy after the Devon match. He says he needs to train more attacking. But now we want to know, is Dennis going to bring different people into his camp? Is Dennis going to be doing more table time, less table time, more in the gym? The X factor that Dennis has right now is the un known. Will Dennis change his style completely that can somehow open up Levan's hand? And the X factor about Levan Saganishvili, the man has never been pinned in a super match format. It has been a very long time since Levan has even been pinned in a competition. So in short form, is Dennis versus Levan a match? I think it can be. I think in late 2024 if these two Buffalo somehow go head to head, I think it can be an exciting match with the style that they're both going to bring to the table. Now, before you start going for the jugular in the comment section, just calm down a bit. Of course, I've got Levan Saganishvili as the very heavy, 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 heavy favourite. Will final boss form of Denis Saplenkov and his new attacking style be any danger for Levan? Or will the number one arm wrestler on the planet continue to be the number one arm wrestler on the planet. Let me know in the comments, you dead set legends. And if you can, like, share and subscribe. Everything that is the Aussie arm wrestler. And as always...